right, what is up, you beautiful people? And a welcome back to On the Edge, New Edinburgh. So I'm going to use uh, this run here. And uh, this time, we are going to choose to save New London. Um, in our last series finale uh, yesterday, uh, we chose to condemn New London. Now, we're going to try and save them. You'll we'll have to send people and resources to New London. This will be very interesting. We will save you. Farewell. And so here we go. So I have stockpiled everything <clears throat> so that we should be able to win the previous scenario. But in this scenario, I don't actually know what happens. So New London's economy is in shambles. So we will need a lot of coal to keep them warm. Due to the cold, due to the cold, a lot of the workers are sick, which means that our people will have to replace them. Infirmaries will heal the gravely ill, but to build them, we need to send steel and steam cores. Their food economy is stretched to the maximum. So I just got to give them lots of stuff here. So send a shipment of food. So how much is a shipment of food? Um, let's see. Uh, your decision to preserve the bigger, more immense side will affect us all. For good or ill, only time will tell. We believe that if we exert ourselves, we can take care of the food shipment for New London. The other tasks are in your hands. Ah, okay. We've heard you chose to spare the toffs. Too bad, but it's your choice. And as we said, alas, we will have to, we too will have to face consequences. We'll send them the workers they need to get on their good side and to keep an eye on them. We know a thing or two about generators, having have built a few. So we'll take a look at theirs. Oh, so these settlements are going to help us out. Uh, are they? So let's see, what's incoming here? We got some food coming from Hot Springs. And then... Uh, oh, they're sending in food and workers to New London. Okay. So that's going to be good. Um, what sort of shipment do I need to send to New London? Uh, I need to send 250 steam. I need to send 3,000 coal. Okay, okay. Gotcha. All right, 3,000 coal. That will be on the way soon, TM, once I get more coal storage. Um, and so, resources, resource depot. I will slap this down over here, and there we go. And then let's see, what else do I have to send to New London here? I also need to send five steam cores, which I have, and 250 steel. Okay, that shouldn't be too bad here. Uh, well, let's just keep pushing forward then. Alright, by the way guys, if you guys are new here to my channel, and you have not yet watched the On The Edge series finale, uh, yet, be sure to go check it out. Uh, I'm gonna make this to pull out steel, be sure to go check it out, um, because, well, we choose not to save New London, we choose to abandon them actually, uh, but in this run, we're choosing to save them. And uh, if you guys are new to my channel, and you guys enjoy Frostpunk, or games like it, uh, I will be playing Frostpunk until I basically finish all of um, the Frostpunk series. Um... And yeah, I played through a new home so far. On the Edge is going right now. Winter Home is happening. Has been postponed thanks to um, On the Edge. And I've also done the arcs as well. So go check it out. If you like what you see, drop a sub to keep up. And yeah, let's get right to it. So I don't know if I actually need to invest in any of these. I don't think I do. I think, if anything, I need to invest in an additional coal thumper. Um, maybe? Might not need to, actually. Let's set that coal production here. Like, what's my coal production looking like here? Um, it's looking. Looks like we're gonna re it's gonna we're gonna meet our quota here. Uh, but let's see. Coal thumper costs 15 wood to build, and then how's steel going here? Steel is good. What else do I need to send them? Um, coal and steel. Okay. So I guess if you help out children's mind, children's mind can handle the coal for you, like all of the coal for you, uh, because like. Ah, so if I didn't have shipwreck camp all the way full, they would not have been able to... We would have had to supply all 50 of those workers, and that would have been impossible. And same thing with all that food. Um, so I'm going to put down one of these, and another one of these. There we go. I'm going to put these down over here, and there we go. And uh, those gathering posts should help speed us along here. Uh, we got some coal resources over here, and then I just got to send them 3,000 coal. Which might cost us uh, most of our coal economy. Gotta hope, hopefully we don't freeze at night. Uh, but, I mean, the only coal I need is the braziers here. And uh, let's see what's happening here. Long hours of toil. Regular ships. I won't address this right now. So this content will go up a little bit. We have some laws here we can sign in. I'm going to sign in dueling law like I did last time, you know. Uh, there we go. <clears throat> and I don't really need to do any more research, I think. I think we should be fine. Uh, keeping with the pace that we have right now. And there we go. I'm going to max out workers over here. Oh, it's a cold workplace here. Um, do I not have a... Ah, I do have a Brazi here. Does this heat it up? There we go, that heats it up here. Maybe I can set this to the range setting 2. 
Okay, that's nice and comfortable for all my people here over here. These people are kind of not comfortable, but that's okay. Uh, and then uh, we're consuming a bit more coal, that's okay. Uh, let's see if I can get some research to make some of my heaters more efficient here. Advanced burners. Um, let's do that, let's do that. I know I need some steel here, but, you know, there's also that. Uh, let's put the children in here. Turn the heaters on. Um, put some more people in here. And yeah, I gotta maybe build them. I don't think I need to build them in infirmary, but um, I just gotta give them the stuff to build one. So we should be fine. Uh, steel should be coming in soon, TM. Uh, and I have four days to send it to them, so... Wow! Saving New London actually seems a lot easier now that I, like, especially if you have your settlements developed. If you don't have your settlements developed, um, then um, you're going to be in a bit of trouble. There we go. We're going to build this over here. I got my coal thumpers going. There we go. I can stick my workers in here. Make sure this area is warm uh, during work hours, of course. Um, yeah, there we go. So that's going to turn off here. So we're just going to we're just going to power through the night here. So this episode is actually going to be much, much shorter. Um, not as not as climactic, I think. More anticlimactic. I love the different designs of the storage depots, though. They look really nice here. So food is going to reach on. Unless, like, there's new things that are going to happen. Um, children's Mine here. Um, just send us some coal, I guess. Children's Mine. Give us 100 coal. Uh, hot Springs. Uh, Shipwreck Camp here has an average favor. Uh, I'm just gonna hold on to the average favor for now. I don't know if you know if I'll need it. Uh, oh, and here we go. And yeah, um, we'll just have to power through the night here. I don't know if this is if, is this within range of the heating hub. Shipment has reached New London. That's some discontent here. Uh oh, emergency shift, unpopular request. Oh, request ignored, an unpopular decision. Oh. All right, and we are back. So it looks like um, I think my game just crashed randomly. It's okay, that happens. Uh, and so we have gone ahead and established our coal thumpers here. Uh, and we are now on a race to give New London, I believe, 3,000 coal. 3,000 coal and some steam cores. Okay, so first things first, I need to re-ask Children's Mind for um, some coal. Thank you very much. Technically, I think all we have to, if we actually got children's mind maxed out, all we have to take care of is actually just coal. Uh, I mean, not coal, the, the, the steel. And that would have been it. Uh, I won't address this right now. So it, because I crashed, it did reset some of the things that I uh, signed in. So I'll be able to sign in the dueling law once again. And uh, let's push forward here. Duels are legal. There we go. And uh, we're just going to push forward here. In terms of time, advanced burners have been researched, and so our coal consumption is going down by heater by Brazius significantly. And uh, we're gonna have so, so much um, coal to just send off the new London. Um, and there it is. Let's see. We only have four days left. I'm gonna try and build one more resource depot. I'm gonna try and gather some more coal before we just get moving. Um, just because, just in case. Uh, cause why not? We got some people that are sick here cause uh, they are working in the cold. There we go. Put some more coal storage up here. There we go. Uh, how are our relations here? Average. Okay. That's good. Oh, there we go. Let's set this to fast forward here. We should be getting some good food here. Yeah, we got 70 food per day coming in from Children's Mom. We got some more coal here. We only have to send 200 food to New London, but 50 workers would have been detrimental, I think to us here, because we have a bunch of people working in like infirmaries uh, and a bunch of engineers here in the workshops, and so we'll just have like a few workers left over. Uh, that's about it. We just gotta power through the night here, and I think we should be fine. Let's have a look here. Sending us the food rations, you've accomplished more than just saving us from starvation. You've kindled hope among our people. They're still hungry, but you know what it took to deliver this much, and we appreciate this a lot. I'm glad to hear that. There we go. You better be glad to hear that. <laughs> Uh, okay, I don't think there's anything I need to research here at, at this point. Um, I think I'm all good on research. I'm just gonna hold off on it. Um, I could research house insulation. I mean, houses are cold. Um, but that should that should be fine, honestly. Some people are cold at home. Um, some people overtime work, overtime medical facilities. But uh, all in all, we're doing pretty good. So, looks like saving New London is gonna be quite easy, actually. Um, and by tomorrow morning, we'll probably have enough coal 
um, to send over to New London. Uh, and there we go, it's warming up here, so I could probably actually decrease some of the heating. Uh, can I? I could. Uh, oh yeah, I'll decrease the I'll decrease the heating heating here, and there we go. Shipment has reached New London. There we go. The workers you've sent us are a great help. Nearly all our facilities are understaffed. Many of our workers are sick and even more weakened by hunger. Your people give us hope that we still have a chance. There we go. New London is being saved. We almost have. Are we almost capped on steel? Cause that could be bad. Oh, there we go. So I can actually send in. A, I can send in the steel cores. There we go. The steel and steam cores. So I'm going to send that in here. Uh, we are burning coal, so I kind of want to stock up on a little bit more coal first before I decide to send it in here. So I got like... Mm, can I actually communicate and like ask for some stuff? Uh, wait, wait, hold on. That's shipwreck camp. That's shipwreck camp. I want to see if I can communicate with um, New London. Uh... How is the operation going? Farewell. Never mind. Farewell. Okay, so, uh, I could technically just send them the coal right now. I think that might just be it. Uh, I have about eight hours of coal. That should be enough for the night. And I guess we just gotta wait until the resources actually get here or or get there. Uh, and so it looks like we're gonna be able to save New London. Easy peasy. So saving New London looks like it's not gonna be that hard. Uh, so I have 400 coal left. 18 hours. Cold homes. Let's heat some of the homes. All right. Um, let's heat some of the homes. We just gotta heat one home, at least livable. Okay. Mm, what could that entail? Just turning one of these guys into from not being chilly, I guess. Ah, uh, I mean we could. We got 16 hours worth of coal. Uh, a duel is taking place. Uh-oh. Hopefully no one dies. There we go. We got a duel taking place. Oh, we got the we got the auto save here. Shipment has reached New London. Immediately after receiving the material ship from you, we started building the infirmaries and hothouses. Soon we will be able to care for our patients and uh, but without triaging and feed all the hungry. There we go. And our last shipment of coal is about to get to them very, very soon here. And once that gets to them, this might be the end of the game. The city is saved. We did it. New London is no longer in danger of collapse. It was a trying time for all, full of strife and discord. But that's behind us now. Despite all the misunderstandings and unnecessary grudges, we saw past our differences and lent a helping hand to those in need. The last city on earth remains the hope, best hope of mankind. But not. But how long will its people remember the lesson that it, that it was discord, not the great storm, that turned out to be the ultimate threat? We have prevailed. Oh, this is gonna be a nice little cutscene and time lapse of my of my settlement here, once again, of New Edinburgh being built up. This time, not being as built up as before. We were just an outpost, ruled by New London. They changed the rules, exploited us. So we rose and became New Edinburgh. To stand against New London, we sought friends. We sent them support, and their settlements thrived. Then our former masters turned up to beg for rescue, and we saved the city with the help of our allies. We averted a disaster, thanks cooperation and we learned the lesson that the ultimate threat was not the storm but discord 
New London Territory. Population 894, 1887 to 1916. Something happens in 1916. And I think that'll be it. And there we go. What a way to end. So saving New London definitely seems to be a lot easier and more manageable um, than trying to, uh, I guess, pick up the ruins and the pieces. So that concludes On the Edge uh, for Frostpunk. If you guys would like to see um, how I handled the Winter Home scenario, uh, be sure to tune in next week um, for that because we will be continuing um, as planned with that. Uh, I've just been sort of rushing through on the edge because it's a new and last expansion for Frostpunk. I'm kind of I'm kind of excited to see like what Frostpunk two, if there is going to be a Frostpunk two, might look like. Um, and yeah, thank you for joining me. I hope you guys have a good day. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.